Hi and welcome to the Power Query for Beginner Series Session 2. Before starting this session, make sure you subscribe to the channel and send this video for your friends who want to learn Power Query. Today I'm going to discover all the commands in the Home tab in the Power Query. You can see there are lots of commands here. The commands are the same for Excel and Power BI, so I'm going to talk about uh, Excel. Let's start by this command. If you face with a query including several columns, you can choose columns and select the column that you want and press OK. Then the query is going to remove other columns. Or if you want to go to the special column and make transformation on that column, you can pick the column name from the list provided here and press OK. There is also another way for removing columns. You can select the column that you do not need them and press remove columns to remove the selected column or in another scenario, you can pick some columns and select remove other columns to remove to keep this selected column and remove other columns. Besides removing columns, you can also remove or keep some rows based on your scenario. This function can be used to filter the rows and just select top rows, bottom rows on some range in the middle of your tables. So keep top rows and press something like 5, can, fill, can remove other rows except the first 5 rows. or keep rows from bottom and insert it five. It's going to remove all rows in your query except the last five rows. There's also keep range of rows. You can pick, for example, from fourth rows and pick three rows for selection. So the rows four, fifth, and six will be selected and others are going to remove. You can also uh, keep rows based on a uh, duplicate. Uh, for example, those who are uh, duplicate, if you select this column, for example, or product ID, let, let's select date, and let's pick keep duplicate, it's going to uh, select just the rows which has the duplicate dates. Or you can select number of columns, and from here, pick keep errors it's going to filter the rows that have error in the selected columns. Like keep rows, the same command are for remove rows. You can remove top rows of your query. For example, write five to remove the first five rows from the top of your query or remove from bottom of your query, like five bottom rows of your query. It's going to remove the last five rows. See, the result would be 33 rows, but in the previous step, it was 38 rows. You can also select all the columns and from remove rows, pick remove errors. So those rows who include error value, no matter the type of error, it's going to remove by these columns. You can also sort the columns based on these two features. Uh, you can select sort ascending or descending. No matter, you can also use this arrow key and uh, select sort ascending or sort descending also. This command is for is can be used for splitting a column. Imagine. Uh, several information are mixed together in a column and you want to extract them and separate them this command can be useful consider this product ID or this date if you want to separate date months and uh, years you can split column by delimiter based on the slash and press ok it's going to provide uh, provide it uh, into three column days, months, and year. Or you can also split based on number of character. 
for example in this case i'm going to split every three characters so write three here if you just want if you want to just split it the one times for the first uh, uh, three characters you can select left and uh, if you want to do it for the right character you can uh, select far right as possible and you can also let, let's uh, remove these two you can also select uh, this one which is going to repeat the separation and by pressing ok it's provided into several columns it's going to split the items into the columns uh, into three character texts and provided into several columns you can also split based on the type of values for example in this case i want to uh, separate texts and numbers but uh, in some case texts are two characters but some of them are one character so i'm going to use a split and from here i'm going to select by non-digit to digit and by doing this it's going to split the customer id into several columns so beside a split column there is a group by command which is really important you can use it to summarize your data imagine i want to extract total sales per product so i can select product name pick group by and on the open uh, window select operation as a sum on the column sales and write total sale and press ok by doing this it's going to so summarize all data based on product net and provide total sales for each product net. you can modify the group by command and go to the advanced and adding more operation also you can add more and say total quantity also needed so total quantity and press ok you can also modify the columns that grouping are based on that uh, by adding grouping adding something like color yeah and pressing ok it's going to summarize the total sales and total quantity per product in different color another important command is this date type actually we have a wide range of type in power query and it is important because some operation can be applied only a specific type of data so if you pick text you can not multiply the item into the text column by some numbers or if you convert it to the numbers you cannot uh, uh, extract some parameter for example consider this sales data if you go to split it by number of characters and pick two see on the function it's going to use another function to initially convert this item into text and then a split function is applied on it to uh, split the let's consider another example this one which the first row is the headers of data is provided in the first row and we want to put it on the header of table in this case you can use use first row as a header or in another example which the reverse situation is happening actually the first row of the table is provided as a header you can go here and use header as the first row to consider the, the headers of data as a first row of your table back to the uh, basic query there is also replace value here you can select a column and uh, for example this column and go to the replace value and write a here and write something like product a and press ok to replace a by something different in the replace value command 
these also advanced option when you want to pick match inter cell content or replacing using a special characters such as inter and tab and this character there is also merge query here imagine we have a historical sales value and also price list here and we want to uh, merge these two table and provide price list beside the column of this table so you can select this query select uh, merge queries and from here pick the price list one then you should select the common column in these two table this is the product name it's going to provide out of the seven rows in the first table all the seven rows are matched with one row or more in the next table i'm going to press ok this is the result price list and i can expand it just the price i do not need the let's uncheck this box by pressing ok it's going to extract the price of each product and provide it here but back to the example in some case you want to match tables based on more than one column imagine this price list which the price for different color is different so you can go and select this query select merge queries and pick price 2 price list 2 yeah in this case the common column are two product name and color so select this one hold control and press color it's going to show one for the first selected column and two for the second selected column do the same for the next table the order of selecting is important see at this type uh, out of seven all the seven rows are matched but if you select the for example color first and product name second it mentioned that none of the rows are matched so select these and these there are some uh, other advanced option for merging here and here so let's neglect it at this step and press ok and extract the price here in another case of working with uh, several queries like this which includes uh, sales 2022 20, 2023 and 2024 sometimes you want to put all the queries under each other at this stage you can use append queries there are two types if you pick this one it's going to combine to put queries under each other and provide the result at this query but if you pick this one it's going to create a new query and put tables under each other and in a new query so let's select three or more pick this three and add yeah this is selected twice and press ok it's going to provide all the result of selected queries in one larger query consider this example also when you extract data from different sources different binary sources like this if you want to combine this value you can select this icon or use combine files here by pressing on it it's going to evaluate queries and then combine them together yeah it's provide an example for me i should select the sample file and let's press just ok it's going to provide the result like these including some sample files and the result as these combined files these are also item for uh, loading data from other sources here or recent sources that you used and if you want to enter data uh, manually just select enter data and write it manually like column a as a date and product a and b 
you are going to define the name of new queries and press OK to create these query manually. Yeah. But back to the far left commands here. If you do some change on the queries, you can pick close and load to load data into the Excel or Power BI. Or also you can manage the load uh, if you want to define, create only connection queries in Excel. You can pick this one and select it from the list of options. You can also refresh your queries by this command. If you want, you can refresh all the queries at once or just uh, refresh the selected query. You can define uh, some comment or description for qu your query, change its name by properties command or choose fast data load, which is not recommended because of some uh, drawbacks of it. Advanced editor is the place that you can see the commands, all the commands at once and change it. If you know M language, you can change it directly. But if you are at the beginning of a process for learning Power Query, it is hard to understand these things now, but no worries, you can learn it so fast. On the manage also, you can delete a query like table and press delete. Or you can duplicate a query or you can reference to a query. 